The times, they are a-changing. Powerful new forms of automation are fundamentally reshaping our world. Robotics, computer algorithms and artificial intelligence are increasing productivity and improving lives. But what happens to our jobs? New research by the McKinsey Global Institute suggests that while enough new work can be generated for everyone, there are serious challenges in how we manage the transition. Between 3% and 14% of the global workforce may need to switch occupational categories or acquire new skills by 2030, depending on how quickly automation is adopted. It's a revolution that could be on par with the biggest shifts in employment in history, first out of agriculture and more recently out of manufacturing. But just as in those earlier revolutions, it's not just that some jobs are lost, but that even more jobs change. In emerging economies, middle-wage jobs such as office support workers and customer service staff could grow, while in advanced economies, middle-wage jobs may decline. In advanced economies, jobs like healthcare providers and technology professionals may be in demand, but these occupations will require more education, social skills, creativity and high-level cognitive abilities. To ensure that displaced workers are re-employed quickly, leaders must act now. To ensure robust demand growth, innovation and economic dynamism. To upgrade workforce skills, especially retraining mid-career workers. To improve labour mobility and to modernise transition and income support. History shows that technological change can benefit us all by investing in the workforce and adapting policies, institutions and business models to the new era. It also teaches us that when the times are a-changing, the time to act is now.